everyone, welcome back to my channel, All Things Venus. This is Ashwarya shooting yet again in natural sunlight today. Very, very inspired by this graveyard series by Tati. Uh, there's just something so satisfying about watching her clear her clutter. Your request, because you guys asked for it, a graveyard lippies for your eyes only. <laughs> I have these five lipsticks by Rimmel, uh, Rimmel Lasting Finish Lipsticks. They're gorgeous, they, they last really well. Uh, I have the shade Get Dirty, really dark brown shade, uh, which I've never used. Like this is my most unused lipstick in my collection. So I think I'm gonna give this one away. This is Soft Hearted, it's a very pretty pink. Uh, I'm gonna keep that. It's a very beautiful nude pink. Uh, these Rimmel Lasting Finish Lipsticks will last you for about Four to five hours and they leave like a smooth layer on the lips i love it i love the finishing they will not withstand your uh, you know if you eat a buffet if you eat a biryani uh, they won't stay this is um unclothed it's the most beautiful nude ever i absolutely love it this is asia this is a beautiful color as well it's a very good uh, nude pink for indian skin tones like the warm skin tones it's more peachy asia is more peachy and soft hearted is more pinky um, this is not their lasting finish this is their lasting finish extreme lipstick uh, the packaging is also a little bit different i have it in the shade mauve max this mauve is a very very beautiful mauve definitely keeping it you can see i've used uh, almost 60 percent of it i have very little left you get really less quantity though for these uh, lipsticks the price remember lasting finish i feel the quantity is less but the because of the price it's justified the lasting finish extreme it's very very pigmented quantity is less and the price is not justified for the quantity this is a uh, wet and wild liquid lipstick in their cat suit range i have it i have it in their uh, give me mocha and rebel rose both of them are absolutely beautiful shades. Rebel Rose is like more cool toned. So if you're not into lavenders and pinks, then you should stay away from this. But uh, Give Me Mocha, it's a beautiful pinky brown shade, a true Kylie Jenner shade. If you like to overline the lips, this is good for that as well. You will not regret this one. It's it's beautiful. It's, a, it's popular, very popular for a reason. I have a color bar in the shade Sultry Pink. Now it doesn't look like anything, it looks like a very simple plain color but whenever I've worn this, I've gotten comments asking which one I'm wearing and it is this. It leaves a gorgeous tint on the lip. This is the perfect lipstick to wear and blot and go to a buffet or a lunch date, a dinner date because it'll leave that pink, uh, this thing, it's just very pretty that way. But it is very drying, okay, keep that in mind. I have one more from Rimmel. It's uh, their Stay Matte Liquid Lip Color. It's in the shade Love Bite. It's beautiful, beautiful shade. This is the shade. Oh, it's gorgeous. It's chocolate. You want your lips to look like chocolate, this is the one for you. The next few lipsticks are from Bojor. Bojor Velvet Edition Liquid Lipstick. It's not available in India. Somebody was coming from US. I requested them to get it. If you can get your hands on it, get your hands on it today. That's how good they are. They're literally like velvet on lips. They're true to pigment. They're such beautiful, gorgeous shades. Last really long. Do not dry the lips out. Just amazing. Uh, this is Nudis. This is Babe Idol. This is In Mauve 36. This is a beautiful color to wear with anything purple or anything lavender like the top I'm wearing today. This is Plum Plum Girl. And this is my most used lip color. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous plum rose. Uh, this is Red Revolution by Bojor. Uh, this is a true red. It's not a warm red. It's not a cool red. It's a true, true red. I haven't seen a red like this. I'm gonna... Okay, unpopular opinion. I like it more than Mac Ruby Woo. I have one more from Bojor. It's their uh, rose velvet, the lipstick in the shade Nohalicious. Noha is a beauty influencer. She collabed with uh, Bourjois Paris to create this lip shade. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous lip shade, guys. I absolutely love it. It's it's equal parts mauve and grunge and nude. Like, I can't even... Every time I use it, it breaks my heart because it's not available in India. I wish it was available. Then I could use it, like, very freely. This is by Shambor 404 Fallen Rose. It's the most beautiful color I've ever had. 
Uh, this is my second bottle and I'm over with it. It's, it's just really gorgeous. I've used it uh, in a couple of videos. If you want to see it in action, it's amazing. You get 6 ml. The price is a little bit high. But uh, if you buy it on sale, you'll get it for about 650, 700. This is a gorgeous gloss. This is by Becca. And it's, uh, the shade is called Rose Gold. How beautiful is that? Uh, it's tr literally a rose gold shade. Well, it's more gold than rose. I would call it a champagne shade more than a rose gold shade. And it, it, makes you, it gives your lips that water shine. You know, when you apply gloss that have shimmer, they kind of exaggerate the fine lines. This one doesn't do that. And it's got fine shimmer. It's like this beautiful nude. I just, I just love it. Gorgeousness. Uh, this is Bojol Transparent Gloss 3D Effect. This is a beautiful gloss. You can apply it on top of your cheeks, on top of your eyelids. It does not crease, does not move at all. Beauty. This is a Bourjois Paris Rose Exclusive. I love it. Uh, it's one of those lip glosses that change color. And it leaves a very pretty pink tint later on. I love it. It's, this is a beautiful, beautiful gloss to have. Nika, if you're watching, please bring Bourjois Paris back. Okay, now one thing I'm going to show you for nostalgia's sake. This is something I used to use in college. It's, uh, it comes for 25 rupees. You'll get it in stationery shops, kirana shops. It's like a lip balm, uh, but it changes color. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful, beautiful balm to have. The only thing is the ingredients are not all that good for, uh, for your skin, but it's good, good to have. Like just, just as an experience. Uh, so I just kept it, but I have no plans of buying it again. So I'm done with one batch and the only thing I'm, I've been able to give away is Get Dirty by Rimmel. So I have my second batch over here. This is MAC Plumpful. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous plum color, guys. It's a beautiful pink mauve color. Like, if you've never used this shade, go to the store, try it out. It literally, there's something about this shade that makes your lips look more voluminous. It's from their uh, luster range, not from their retro matte range. And it is so worth the money, like, I love it. Lacme 9 to 5 in the shade Red Coat. This is a beautiful red, uh, but the thing is, I have Bojor Wala Red, and I don't think I'm going to use this one. So that's the reason why I'm going to give it away. But it's, it's got this beautiful luxe rose gold packaging. Uh, it's lovely. I'd hate to see it go to waste. It's going to go to waste if it's with me. Um, so I'm gonna give it away where it'll be used. One more from Chambord. I don't think this is available anymore. This is their glittery gloss in the shade Intense 648. This is such a dreamy shade to have. I've used it in some photo shoots. I'll leave the pictures here. It's like this pinky mauve shade. It's amazing. Chambord, please bring it back. This is uh, Miss Claire Soft Matte Lip Cream. Uh, in the shade 03. Now, I absolutely do not like it. Uh, it settles into the fine lines, the cracks. It's this very light baby pink color. It just does not suit me. The color, the texture, the longevity, none of it suit me. So definitely gonna give it to someone who will use it. Somebody who's much, much paler than me, this color might look good on them, but not on me. I have this is my favorite lipstick of all time. It's Rosewood by Max Factor. It leaves such a beautiful tint on the lips. Like, it's from their Max Factor Elixir range. It'll just, like, soften the lip. It's something between a gloss and a lip balm and a lipstick. Like, just everything combined is beautiful. The packaging is luxe. The feel is amazing. Um, my lips might be, like, very dry from trying everything out. I apply this lipstick and go to sleep. And in the morning, my lips would have become so soft it's like it's got some lip treatment like how a lip mask would make your lips like that it makes your lips with this gorgeous pigment it's pink uh, and nude but not one of those nude pinks that wash me out this is nude embrace by maybelline now this is one of those nudes that karina kapoor wears with her smoky eye nude lip look this is what she wears it is uh, like a very very true concealer lip uh, nude lip color so if you're into that then nude embrace is good uh, the texture is matte it feels creamy but it settles into a matte 
gorgeous wet and wild cat suit uh, lip liner it's amazing it's in the shade chestnut definitely keeping this one uh, next i have these three lip liners from studio west i don't think they're available anymore if they are available if you can get them get them guys can we all just petition studio west to bring back these lip liners because they're so good and so affordable right uh, so this one is brown supreme the perfect red brown lip shade this is rose it's my most used lip shade on this channel if you've been following me from the beginning you know i use this a lot it's a peachy warm pink beautiful gorgeousness like it's better than pillow talk charlotte tilbury pillow talk is better than that i also have it in the shade misty mauve which is a beautiful mauve color which is what i'm wearing right now mm, love it next i have color bar berry rose berry rose is a very very pretty color you can wear it as a lipstick on your own it's a deep pinky mauve love it i did a reel couple of days ago and you guys asked me what am i wearing like i was wearing a purple lipstick it's actually this lip liner it's number 14 by miss claire it's a deep purple lip uh, it's definitely something that will make you look a little elder in years but it's a look it's not a good look or a bad look it's a deep deep purple uh, lip color i'm shooting in natural sunlight so you guys get colors to their complete accuracy this is miss claire lip liner in the number 12 it's like a red but like a deep maroonish red it's it's a beautiful red to have and you get a good amount of quantity as well this is max sor no lip liner addicts collection is ever complete without max sor it's the most beautiful pinky nude lip color to ever have been made these are my rimmel these are my rimmel lip liners i absolutely love them uh, the shade ultimate is like a beautiful chocolate brown this is the shade ultimate and remember east end snob guys few years ago east end snob was all the rage I still love it. It's still a very pretty pink uh, lip liner to have. So this is East End Snob. And my most favorite guys is this Obsession. This is a beautiful nude red. As if okay, I I'm almost over with it, but just trust me on it. It's a beautiful nude red. If ever nude red was a thing, it would be this. This is Addiction. Uh this is my actual my lips but better color. It's a beautiful nude grayish pinkish shade. I just love it. In Max Factor I have two shades. Brown and Nude is a gorgeous nude uh, lip liner. If you've not tried Brown and Nude, do try Brown and Nude. Brown and Nude by Max Factor and Max Sor. Everybody should try it at least once in their lifetime. It's really that good. Uh it's like this beautiful color, brown nude color that does not wash you out. It's like this perfect perfect color. Uh the other color I have in the same Max Factor color Elixir lip liner range is Pink Princess. So this is a very pretty color but it has shimmer in it. It's a, it's a cool toned pink. Them's the colors. Brown and nude every time I wear it I feel like I'm wearing some sort of Charlotte Tilbury color because of the nuance in it. This is a beautiful color. Uh this is Nude Wave by Bojor. Uh if you can get your hands on it, get your hands on it. It's not available in India though. Sad. This is Rimmel Spice. This one was so famous. Kali Jenner made it famous. Uh it's a beautiful rust uh, nude kind of uh, lip lip color. And you can wear it like all the lip liners I'm showing, none of them are drying in texture and all of them you can wear them all over the lip. This is a true red. I haven't seen a more beautiful red than this. This is Rose Soex number 20 Bojor lip contour. Oh, uh another one from Bojor is Plum Plum it up number 60. a beautiful plum just like it looks this is a uh, boots number no. 7 precision lip pencil i saw uh lisa eldridge use it and it was such a beautiful color on her i saw karima mckimi use it and that's how i got it it's number no. 20 and lisa eldridge actually uh help uh sort of design this one pencil i saw lisa eldridge use it and it was such a beautiful color on her i saw karima mckimi use it and that's how i got it it's number no. 20 and lisa eldridge actually help uh sort of design this one this is just coral by kalabar it's a beautiful warm coral lip color uh this is nu03 liquid lipstick by studio west it's a beautiful brown and warm orange 
burnt orange kind of a shade it's something in between uh, coral by Calabar and brown and nude lip liner by Max Factor this is Chambord BR01 and this is my most used lip liner these all these products that I'm only showing the uh, product photo shoot uh, they actually missed the photo shoot <laughs> because they were in my high rotation drawer so you know I love these uh, this is my ride or die lip liner I know it doesn't look very impressive when swatched on a white paper you really have to see it on the skin on a warm undertone skin this is Chambord PK12 it's a pink lip liner as you can see uh, not as impressive as Chambord BR01 I will not be repurchasing this again but if you're, if you're looking for a pink lip liner to overline your lips that's good shade behold the gorgeous Kat Von D Lolita range. This is Kat Von D Lolita 2. This launched after the big success of Kat Von D Lolita 1. Lolita 2 is a slightly warm, burnt uh, kind of an orangish color, something between brown and orange. This is Kat Von D Lolita 1. This was all the rage when it launched and it made the deep, mauve, almost grayish, grunge kind of uh, mobs very popular it's a beautiful shade uh, every lip liner addict lipstick addict must try this is max factor mauve this is from their uh, velvet matte uh, range it looks a purple mauve in the packaging but it's actually a more pinky mauve as you can see on the swatch on the white paper beautiful texture absolutely love max factor lipsticks this is max factor burnt caramel this is from their Elixir range. Rosewood and Burnt Caramel both are from their Elixir range. Both leave your lips so soft, so nourished. And Burnt Caramel is the perfect warm nude. Rosewood would be the perfect cool nude or a neutral nude. And Burnt Caramel, it leaves such a pretty tint to the lips. I actually like that one more because of the tint. <laughs> this is uh, Dusk, again from Max Factor's Velvet Matte uh, range. This is a cool tone mauve this is a little more closer to lolita but just not as pigmented and not as drying just a little more forgiving uh, on the textured lips this is nude 05 from max factor velvet matte range this is my most used lipstick like this is my second tube so you know how much i love it the color is uh, very very pretty pink <laughs> So I've done foundation graveyard, sunscreen graveyard and like just a whole graveyard series. I'll link it here. Those were all my lippies. I didn't swatch and show them because it's just like a graveyard. What am I going to clear off kind of a video. I'm definitely not clearing off any of my beloved lip, lip liners. I am going to be clearing off these three beauties. Uh, I'm going to be giving them away. If you like these kind of clearing the clutter kind of videos in natural sunlight and everything then do give this video a like. Let's meet in the next video and please subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel. Would you please subscribe to my channel. Let's meet in the next video.